We're going to have a look at washoku now. Washoku. And here are the kanji. Wa is a combination of mouth on the right hand side. And on the left hand side here we have a bundle of high quality rice. And this character wa together means peace. Perhaps because mouths which can eat high quality bundles of rice are very peaceful. In any case, it's often used to represent Japan. And here it goes again with shoku is the Chinese way, the on yomi, the Chinese way of reading to eat washoku, Japanese food, washoku. Now, washoku uh, is very, they're, they're very fond of eating fish in Japan. And another way of expressing washoku, Japanese food, is nihon ryori, Japanese cooking. Nihon ryori. And as I said, fish is very popular and it's called sakana. Sakana, and that's the kanji for fish. You can see that's its head, that's its body, and that's its tail. So it's sakana, sakana. Nihon ryori, Japanese cooking, also very fond of eating gyu niku. Gyu niku, that's the kanji for a cow, a one-horned cow. That's his long face there, eyes and its nose and its one horn and that niku that's actually a cross section of a slab of meat and then you have the veins of fat going through that meat gyu niku of course they've only been really eating gyu niku since the second world war but this would be a typical japanese way of serving gyu niku unlike steak which would be western cooking or yoshoku another popular ingredient in nihon ryori japanese cooking is buta Buta niku, pig meat, buta niku or pork. And this is tonkatsu, which is breaded pork cutlets. Tonkatsu. Then we have tempura, deep fried vegetables and fish and prawns in batter. Tempura, tempura. Sushi, everyone knows sushi. Often it's referred to as o sushi, honorable sushi, o sushi. Next we have obento. Actually, the word is just bento, but the honorific is so often used with it, it's generally included. O bento, and that's a lunchbox. And you can see that as important as healthful ingredients is the beauty of the, the way that o bento is arranged. O bento. Here's another one for children. A Hello Kitty. O bento. O bento. Next we have soba. That's thin noodles. They're made of buckwheat. They're very healthy. Here we've got cold soba. You pick it up, you pop it in the soup, you put these uh, condiments into the soup, the sauce thing, and you pull it out and you eat it. Delicious. Oishi. And here's soba in a hot soup with tempura flavorings on top. That bit there is pressed fish cake. Next we have a similar kind of noodle in a hot soup with a nice raw egg there to mix through. That's called soba. It's thicker and whiter. Soba. There it is there. Soba. Soba. Thick white noodles. Oh, I beg your pardon. We've just had soba. This is udon. Udon. The thick white noodles are udon. Next we have Chinese style noodles. They're called ramen. And they're from China. So we use katakana. Ramen. Gohan. That means cooked rice. And it can also refer to a meal because rice is the staple in Japan. And as far as they're concerned, a meal is gohan or cooked rice. Next we have miso shiru, absolutely essential in any Japanese meal. Miso shiru, it's soup made from a base of fermented bean paste. Miso shiru. Next we have shoyu, a sultry flavoring. You show me a Japanese meal and I'll show you the soy sauce. Shoyu. Osake, that's alcoholic drink made from rice wine. Osake, the o is honorific. You can also call it sake. Or cha. Or cha. Again, or is honorific. Cha, green tea. Or cha. And here we have asa gohan, breakfast. Hiru gohan, lunch. And bang gohan. That's your evening meal.